everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith, and in this unboxing video, we're going to be checking out a cooperative expansion for Dice Throne. Now, it is worth mentioning that Dice Throne Adventures does require either the Season 1 box or the Season 2 box. And of course, if you have both, you're going to have even more characters to choose from. These games come from Roxley, and I'm really looking forward to showing you everything you can expect to find inside this Adventures box. So without further ado, let's flip it over, take a look at the back, find out a little bit more about the game, and then we'll dive into all the components inside. Dice Throne Adventures is a genre-bending cooperative expansion to the hit game Dice Throne. Simply grab a friend or, of course, go ahead and play solo, and you're going to want to take any of your Dice Throne heroes with you, and then delve into randomly generated worlds, beautiful environments, intense boss battles, and an innovative hack-and-slash style looting system, and non-destructive legacy elements. It states on the back of the box here as a note, this box contains an expansion, so you need Need to have as I mentioned one or more of the dice throne heroes are required to play and the other thing to mention down here in the bottom left hand corner is around the game features so the first one states choose any dice throne hero you own the second is to explore randomly generated worlds third you'll be battling minions and powerful bosses fourth of course you're gonna be getting rewards and loot as you go through this five permanently upgrade your hero as you go along on the adventures and six your aim is to defeat the mad king to access legacy content. The first thing you're going to see when you open up the box is a quick ad here for the Dice Throne shop. So if you're looking to pick up Season 1 or Season 2 or both or any of the miniatures, you'll see an ad inside. It also does have a 10% off coupon around the miniatures. So if you want to upgrade things, so you have a little bit more immersion on the table, you can either get miniatures that are unpainted or ones that are actually painted, which is kind of nice. And if you go ahead and flip this open, I'll show you the boxes and what they look like in terms of Season 1, which was re-rolled, and Season 2. Too, and you can see all the heroes you can expect to find in each of the two different seasons. Of course, this will be really important if you're trying to select which heroes you think may be the ones you'd like to use in the Adventures box. Then you can just go after one of these seasons, or if you want to have many, many choices, you can grab both. But once you get past the ad inside of the box, you are going to be running right into the campaign scoring sheet. And we're going to dive into the rule book next, but this is going to track all of your progress as you go through your campaign. We'll flip this over quickly and take a look at the back as well. And now let's dive into the rule book. First thing I'm gonna mention right off the top is if you are not a big fan of reading through the rule book, there is a video tutorial listed right on the front here you can check out. But moving into it, you can get a great idea of the components that are coming inside of this one. And just like season one and season two, if you're familiar with Dice Throne, the actual storage solutions around this game are amazing. You will have everything organized with what comes inside the box and have no reason to go get anything third party which is fantastic uh, this is a good rundown if you need to make sure you have everything you can see all the tokens have their own separate case to keep them all in which is awesome and you can see everything in terms of the game and storage is all easily and readily available for setup. So it makes the whole situation that much easier to get to the table. Talks about your welcoming of the hero being you, starting your adventure, campaign overview, campaign setup, game area setup, and all that good stuff. Looks like it's not too many steps to get rolling. And then you're gonna be heading into what's called a portal crawl and all the rules around it. Moving on to the very back of the rule book. You got your boss battles, and really this rule book ends around I think 15 or so pages. So it's really not too bad. You got your FAQ in the back, glossary, campaign conclusion, and a really nice status effects and tokens back page to reference. And just before we go ahead and take an up close look at all the components inside the box because there's a whole bunch, I first want to show you the pre-built in storage solution that this game has inside of it. It's phenomenal. So we'll remove these punch boards to start things off and you'll see right underneath of them all the different storage areas for not only the tokens but the cards and components. Continuing on down through this insert you have another whole area for storage we have to go through and on this right hand side you remove this giant piece and there's even more underneath that. It's also worth mentioning that if you plan to buy the miniatures, the miniatures actually have their own area right here and it states right on the bottom miniatures. So if you do want to have the painted ones or the unpainted ones stored in there, you have a place for them. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check out every component inside this box.
and that's going to wrap up the unboxing for Dice Throne Adventures from Roxley. I really hope this gives you an in-depth view of everything you can expect to find inside the box. As you can tell, we went through this video. The components and the quality of this particular production is off the charts. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep on rolling solo. Thank you.